Hello. Welcome to another video. Now in this particular uh, video, I would like to talk about my thoughts about uh, Converse Chuck Taylor All-Stars. Now, these type of shoes have been around since the early 1900s. I forgot the whole history, but anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm actually talking about um, a lot of people seems to have, uh, certain people out there seem to have problems, especially when it comes to modern day made Chuck Taylor All Stars, which made to be, which used to be made in the USA, and um, I believe they stopped production since 2001, the same year 9/11 happened. But anyway, not gonna, not gonna get into that. I believe Nike bought uh, Converse in 2003, and they've been in with Chuck Taylors ever since. I'm basically going to talk about uh, why people have problems with shoes. For example, um, here's a here's um, a pair I own. These are maroons. A lot of people seem to have problems when they buy a pair of these that within a month, three months, or even six months, it all it all depends on how each of these things are made, that the soles on the bottom of these shoes tend to uh, come off. Now, me personally, I have no problems with this, that the whole entire front, or even the back end right here, seems to be coming off completely. But some other people have been having this problem. And uh, why is that? Well, I do think that Nike, the big, the big corporations, the big corporations, want to rip off a lot of consumers, and that is so unfortunate. Fortunate because Converse All Stars to me are one of the coolest shoes that were ever made by mankind, and they're definitely a work of art to me, anyway. Yeah, these shoes are definitely not um, good to walk around in at your workplace for so many hours, especially if you're not wearing insoles in them. These are basically flat shoes to be wearing. They don't have like a good arch arch support. But uh, these are regular Chuck Taylors I have. And here is um, Chuck Taylor 2s. Yeah, they don't have the black line here. I, I put that there myself. But anyway, these are Chuck 2s. And uh, I wear all kinds of different shoes daily. But another pair of shoes I personally wear is Skechers. But anyway, um, nope, not this one. Hold on, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, these are uh, Chuck Taylor twos, and you can't see it too much, but yeah, as you can see right here, uh, the bottom soles are kind of. Unsticking to this outer sole right here, which is so unfortunate. What so unfortunate would seem a lot of people have problems with. I do recommend Shugu. This stuff seems to work pretty good. It does. It's not always 100% great, but still, I would use um, put like a lot of Shugu in here, and use like um, a toothpick or something to spread the glue in there. And if it kind of keeps coming apart, then just keep using it. But as for the sole that falls apart on this area, well, I'm not too sure except for you consumers out there that have such problems with your Chuck Taylors, I would just sue the company and have them make better quality for the Converse All-Stars because I hate to see these, I hate to see these particular shoes go out of style. I really do. Really, really do. Yeah, I had these, I don't wear these daily. But, but yeah, as you can kind of tell, it's coming off quite a bit, the inner sole, which is so unfortunate. Fortunate. Um, these are the original Chuck Taylors. As you can see, these are um, the classic black and white. They're not the Chuck 2s. I don't own a pair of Chuck 2s. But yeah, here's the original Chuck 1s. I think, again, I think these are great and, and a work of art and one of the best shoes ever made. But yeah, once again, modern day Converse to a lot of people don't seem to be really un, really comfortable. But I put um, either Dr. Scholl's 
or sh or arch support in in these originals, and they're pretty comfortable. They're definitely pretty comfortable. Yeah, sometimes you can take out the uh, ri the original insole, as you can kind of see right here. You can either take that out and replace it with a new insole. In some cases, these are easy to come off. I've had that experience with these inner soles that come along with these and just replace them with, say, these Lunar Lawns. Now these Lunar Lawns, as you probably know, came with the Chuck 2s. I simply put, take these Lunar Lawns out and put them just in the original Chuck Taylors here, as you can see. What do I think of why these uh, inner soles are coming apart on some people? And some people are either having this problem where it's falling apart here, or falling apart on the sides here, or falling apart right here. Uh, these particular pair right here, as you can see, the logo here, it has the registered trademark. The registered trademark stopped putting, they stopped putting on these shoes, I believe, since 2008. But yeah, these are older uh, Converse Chuck Taylors. And if you look closely at the older pair, it looks like between the outer sole and the undersole right here, if you look closely, like really all around the shoe here, they have these, um, these inner fibers right here. Now between the outer sole right here and the inner sole, they have these fibers in here. And I think they use a different type of glue compared to newer Chuck Taylors. And that's why you, most of the time when you buy the older Chuck Taylors, these undersoles seem to stick on the shoe better compared to newer ones, which is so unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I just thought I'd make this video to, to point this out to make some people aware, especially for Chuck Taylor fans. That, yeah, I hate to see this shoe go out of style just because of lack of creativity and laziness to these companies that make these shoes. Really, it's so unfortunate. And yeah, I do think they should make more Lunar Lawns for Chuck 2s. I, I, I mean, the, the Chuck Taylor 1, sorry. Yeah, another thing that some people seem to have an issue with when it comes to the older pair is that these kind of flap down um, the, the longer you wear these, these these seem to flap this way or come down this way I personally don't have a problem with that really and plus the tongue goes um, doesn't stay in one direction doesn't stay straight it keeps going sideways and sideways but one thing that they did add to these newer Chuck Taylors here is um, this uh, this tongue loop right here, as you can see. Now this wasn't here on the original Chuck. It's kind of dark here, but they didn't have these uh, loops on the tongues right here on these earlier designs. So when you wore the earlier designs of the Chuck Taylors, the tongue would go forward and the other direction instead of staying straight. Whereas, yeah, the Chuck Twos, they would have, you know, usual tongue, but they would have like um, they would have like these uh, inner straps right here to keep the tongue center, as you can see. Now, either I wish they would add these with the regular Chuck ones, or better, it's good that they add this loop right here on the tongue of the Chuck Taylor. That on the Chuck Taylor that way. It won't move side to side. It will keep just staying forward. That's how I. That's how I definitely think it's a good idea that they added that for the new Chuck Taylors at least. But yeah, overall, they should go back to putting the inner. Um, sorry, I'm pausing a lot. I'm trying to think here without notes. They should put these um, these inner fibers between the insole and the outer sole and have stronger glue around these Chuck Taylor insoles to prevent them from popping out 
and uh, kind of ripping apart on the bottom because that's what a lot of people seem to have an issue with when it comes to Chuck Taylors. And because of that problem, a lot of people are not buying Chuck Taylors anymore, which is so unfortunate. It, it really is. The company who makes Chuck Taylors, they really need to st step up their game because, again, I hate to see these particular shoes go out of style. Anyway, I just thought I'd make this video to give people an idea to be aware of what's, of what's going on, especially for Chuck Taylor fans, Converse Chuck Taylor fans. And um, that's, all I, that's all I have. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a good one.